already know what it is, family. GMOG Media TV, GMOG Sports TV, great man of God. Media TV back with another one. All right, family. You know, I just saw a tweet, man, from uh, Terrence Crawford that was uh, quite intriguing. And um, I just want to break down, you know, um, what I think, in my opinion, what he is trying to say versus reality, right? So I'm going to just uh, go to my, so y'all can see. All right, so basically he says, uh, he just tweeted this. When I say I'm pound for pound best fighter in the world, this is what I mean. You could put me in any weight category if I was that size and I would still dominate. You definitely can't say the same for everyone else. Some don't have the same style for smaller fighters or bigger fighters as I do. Again, that's quite intriguing, right? Um, what, what I say is this, is, is Tans Crawford, the best fighter in the world, pound for pound. Absolutely. Now him saying that if I was that size, I can still dominate in any weight category. Uh, again, everybody's heard the phrase. There's what, there are weight classes for a reason, right? And skill set alone isn't enough. Okay. Because when you make the pound for pound list, you're not, it's not just based off skill set. It's based off your resume. It's based off accomplishments, who you fought, and your skill set. It's not just skill set alone. So him trying to imply he can go to any weight class. Let's say Terrence Crawford can go to heavyweight, right? Your skill set alone isn't enough to face these guys like the Wilders of the world, the Tyson Furies of the world, the Usus of the world. Your skill set is not enough because guess what? You also need attributes, physical attributes to match their physicality, right? You know what I'm saying? You you being able to withstand their punches, right? Uh, power level, strength, right? Conditioning is much different in the heavyweight division than... 147 pounders, right? So it's just not skill set alone. You need the physicality, right? You you need certain attributes to compete against those heavier weight classes, which even you admitted that before because you had when people when people brought up the fight about Canelo, right? And this is before you fought um, Errol Spence. You didn't want to you didn't want to fight Canelo, right? Your fans didn't mention that either. Terrence Crawford fans didn't, didn't mention nothing about no damn Canelo prior to Errol Spence. Ever since you beat Errol Spence, now it's Canelo, 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 Canelo. But before you fought Spence, there was no Canelo talk. Let's just put that out there. All right? There was no Canelo talk. So I get it. You beat Errol Spence. You feel like you're the best in the world. And I agree, you are the best in, in the world. But let's pump your brakes talking about that you can go up to heavyweight because your skill set alone, you can beat these guys. It's not just skill set alone that you can compete against these guys. Okay, you're on the pound for pound list because again, not just skill set. It's about your accomplishments, your resume, who you fought. Right? It's all of that encompassing all of that to make you the number one pound for pound in the world. Okay, let's just not get that twisted. So I just wanted to kind of clarify what he actually meant to say and um, what I think he should have said, rather, and how I interpreted it uh, based on what he's saying. So, yeah, I agree. I, I, once again, I agree that he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. But skill set is not the only attribute as to why you're the best in the world. And I already explained why. So those are my thoughts on that family. Leave your comments down below, family. Until next time, signing out.